So I thought I'd get this moment. <sighs> this is it. Now the nice thing that I'm going to like about having the Prius Prime is I can set this five gallon jug right here in the back whereas you couldn't do that with, you know, with a trunk like a car and I can also just set this cooler right here on the back so kind of like an SUV uh, now it's somewhat cramped in here I'm not going to lie you know that uh, you know by the time you get all your your camping gear and everything in here it's uh it's not easy but uh we're ready to roll let's get on the road i guess the new saying is going to be the trip you get <laughs> is not the trip you expect oh my gosh i had to drive straight through took me uh 17 hours i guess 17 18 hours uh not by design wasn't my plan uh but uh what happened was uh, i'd stopped at the uh georgia uh hold on we got some people coming oh just let them get on by uh so i stopped at the uh, georgia rest stop and uh woman there i said because i told her i was getting around hey guys how's it going man told her i was getting around the um i wanted to get around atlanta and she recommended that i take a road uh, 83 it was about 147 miles into georgia and to go up uh through there was a national forest there she said it's a beautiful drive that i would enjoy it and uh, and then hook up with 85 and come north that way so i said well, well why not you know maybe i'll find a place to camp in this georgia national forest and uh, didn't really look at it on a map because i was on the road you know <clears throat> but usually there's a sign with the national forest you know you'll see like a you know campground here type of sign i'm telling you i drove all the way through on 83 and i never saw one hint of a campground um now i probably could have taken a dirt road somewhere along there and probably just put a tent up in the forest but i was really hoping for a campground plus i didn't want to stop i wasn't tired at that time and i said well let's just keep going and then it got dark on me so i said okay it's a, it's going to be a hotel room you know there's no doubt about it so i got to uh uh let's see i got to 85 and then it turned out uh, i think it was either south carolina or north carolina or both of them there was a huge swath of that interstate torn up with construction and I knew that if I waited till the next day to try to get through there that it was going to be just wall-to-wall wall-to-wall traffic so I said okay let's at least get going to get through the construction so I got through the construction I don't know where I was I was in some big cities and uh, I kept pulling over and checking hotels and motels and anything else I saw they were all full or the only room they had available was the honeymoon suite for $200 a night. And I said, well, screw that, man. I, all I need, I could, man, can I just sleep in your lobby on the floor and I'll pay you 50 bucks, man. <laughs> you know, they didn't go for that, let's just say. So I kept going and going. And, but it was a beautiful night. The full moon was out and I was still feeling good. Just came all the way to Lynchburg. I got here last night about uh, four in the morning. And, uh, and man, I slept, uh, I guess I slept well, a little, little less than 12 hours, 10 hours. I slept 10 hours because I went to bed at 6 this morning, and right now it's uh, it's about 6 o'clock at night. So um, <clears throat> I got a person coming. I'm going to tack onto this video in just a second. Continue that conversation. Um, so I'm, I'm, I was encouraged on the trip and discouraged at the same time because <clears throat> when I pulled up in these rest stops, and you don't know where these people are from at a rest stop, but, uh, you know, the worst thing that I saw was there was this woman and she gets out of the car and her little five-year-old has a mask on outside. Now, the five-year-old wasn't wearing the mask correctly. She had it down over just over, over her chin, you know, so her mouth was open and uh, well, more or less I had part of her mouth covered so she couldn't talk, but, uh, but her nose was wide open. You know, you could tell she, she was fighting the mask mandate and uh, from her mother, that is. Of course, her mother had full-blown, you know, masks. She might have had two masks, maybe three of them on. She follows Fachi, which obviously she does. The other discouraging thing that I saw, which is, it never ceases to amaze me, because I, I have seen it on occasion, but not like this. And uh, I'd say I saw about two or three cars with people by themselves in the car with a mask on. <laughs> I'm just 
just, I'm just laughing. I said, what, what do you think when you're driving down the highway, you know, something's gonna blow into your car and infect you? I mean, you know, if the mask did any good, and you know my feelings on that. So uh, that was very discouraging to see that, you know, these people are just blindly going along with anything the government tells them. And, uh, you know, we're on the road to communism for sure. But, uh, you know, I'm, <clears throat> I'm hoping, uh, you know, but then I get to Lynchburg, <clears throat> and so today, I'm highly encouraged, because uh, it was, like I said, a year ago that I was here, and uh, outdoors here, everybody had masks on. And uh, today, I have not seen a single mask while hiking the bike trail, and I've only bumped into a few people. So uh, that indicates to me that people are getting fed up with this nonsense and in some places, you know. I don't know what it's like in other uh, Democrat cities here in, in Lynchburg, Virginia. The other encouraging thing <clears throat> that I heard, and I don't know if it's true everywhere in the state, because I thought they had mail-in ballots here in Virginia, which means Virginia is a lost cause just like California, because the Democrats can use those mail-in ballots to rig the election, you know. But, uh, but here in Virginia, my mom said she had to do absentee ballot. And boy, she had to, uh, the, the hoops she had to jump through to, uh, to put in that absentee ballot was quite uh, extraordinary. So maybe here in Virginia, we're gonna have a fair election. But they, I tell you what, they are in full blown election mode here. <laughs> I was trying to show my, my, my mom, me on YouTube, you know, cause I was gonna show her some of my YouTube videos, but YouTube's got me so far buried in their algorithm. You can't, if you search on that cybersecurity guy, you won't even find me. <laughs> you know, cause, cause I did search on my, my videos there. Now, if you search for that cybersecurity guy, all one word on Rumble, it does bring up my videos, or some of them anyway. Uh, if you subscribe to Rumble, you can get them all that way. And I haven't gotten all the videos up on Rumble yet, but I am working on that. And I'll continue to work on it here in Lynchburg. Because if anything, I got a better internet connection at my mom's house than I have in uh, down in Florida. Because I set that up the last time I was here. So anyway, uh, that was just a brief talking video that the people with masks on in their cars, people with, you know, five-year-old kid with a mask on. I mean, what kind of parent does that, man? You know, if I had a kid, you think they'd have a mask on, especially outside. Oh my God, these people are nuts. So I'm, I'm kind of encouraged. I, I will be here for the election in Virginia. Uh, and we're gonna get some trail videos. For, there's uh, Liberty Mountain, that's uh, Liberty University. I'm gonna go up there and make some videos. They got some real good hiking trails there. Uh, so stay tuned to the channel. Uh, we'll have videos going up. Uh, I don't know if you'll ever be through Lynchburg. Uh, it does have some decent hiking. You know, I do give it credit for that. Uh, but like I said, I'd much rather be in Florida, that's for sure. And uh, winter is coming. I, man, it was cold last night. I, when I jumped out the car, I'm used to 80 degrees and <laughs> 50 degrees. That's freezing my buns off. All right, you guys peace out. Stay tuned. I thought this would be a quick video just talking about what I've seen on the trip, uh, that construction. And then uh, I'll never come that way ever again. 85 is just, well, even at night, it was a lot of traffic on that road. All right, have a good one. We'll do the mantra in a minute. Say is, <laughs> it's a sad read on people, you know. So I've asked three people here in Virginia so far uh, whether there are vax mandates, and they don't know. Uh, and they don't know if uh, children are being required to wear masks in the schools, you know. I, you know, people just are not paying attention to what's going on around them. Um, so when I know, you'll know. Now the one woman did say uh, she knows people that work at a plant. And they are highly encouraging the vaccine, but she doesn't know of anybody that's been fired because they didn't get it. Here comes another person. Let's ask them, see what they say. The 10th person <laughs> seemed knowledgeable. Uh, and uh, so, uh, and this, this absolutely shocks me. And, uh, but he told me, and uh, he said that the Democrat governor, now if he gets reelected, I don't imagine it'll stay this way. But he has uh, not mandated the vaccine for uh, state workers, according to this person, which shocks me. Um, so uh, we'll see what happens if the Democrat gets, gets back in office. Um, the other thing is, uh, they told me this too, and I, I don't know, that the Democrat governor here has left it up to the school districts to, you know, to determine their own fate of whether they're gonna require masks or not require masks. Uh, which is a step in the right direction, you know, not like in Florida where 
we've made it uh, illegal for a school district to mandate masks. And uh, Orange County, of course, is fighting Governor DeSantis on that very issue uh, in a court battle. We'll see who wins on that one. Um, but, uh, you know, so even in, even in Florida, we have uh, uh, counties that want the kids, kids to wear masks in school, even though the governor, uh, by executive order, said that you can't do that. So uh, I'm very shocked. Uh, Virginia may be a, just a little teeny wee bit freer, even though it's a Democrat state, than, uh, you know, we're, like in New York, where all the government workers or the state workers are losing their jobs over the decree. And of course, in Illinois, you know, we know if you've been watching Chicago, the police department there is fighting. So that's enough for this video. Let's, uh, let's make the mantra. Freedom! Oh, freedom! Good to be from <laughs> the state of Florida, the free Republican state of Florida, where we have no vax mandates, no mask requirements, and we're free to come and go and do as we please. Peace out and stay free.